Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Chameleon's host. Uh, he did update it to 4.5 with the latest kernel uh, fixes and improvements. So I thought we'd give it a go and see how well it works. So we'll go over to our settings. I will show you that I do not have the goal 10 options as well as I don't have debug settings. We'll go up to our network. Go ahead and make sure we do connect or check connect to the internet. We'll go ahead and back out of there. Go ahead and launch our browser. And then we'll do the usual here. Close that first window. Delete all in our frequently used pages. And go into our browser history and clear that as well. Finally, we'll go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now, I've already went ahead and bookmarked it. So we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here to load up. It does cache the initial page. So from here, we can see that uh, Chameleon's 900 V4.5 is right here. Go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here to install the cache. It's only the goal 10. We'll have to cache the payloads as well. Okay, once that's done, you can see we do have an option here. Go to payload menu. If you go in through here, it, it doesn't require the bin loader server. Uh, it does the jailbreak each time and then loads the payloads. If you want the bin loader server way, you can go ahead and just jump out and go ahead and cache that. Uh, for the video though, we'll just go ahead and just jump into the payload menu from here and we'll let it install the cache. Shouldn't take too long, 5% now. There is a few payloads here. Um, your GTA mod menus for 1.3 is there, Beef Queefies, Wild Mods, and Implosion V2 is there as well. Okay, so 40%. Okay, there's 50. Does take a little bit of time. There is a few payloads there to actually download. Uh, if you're close to your wireless router, you're probably going to get it a lot quicker than I'm getting it. I'm quite far away. Okay, there's 70%. Okay, perfect. 90%. 10 more to go. Perfect. 100%. So we're good to go here. Uh, we can go ahead and just back up to the menu. And we can go right to the main menu here. And if you want to do the trainer, you can go ahead and cache that as well. Um, and like I said, if you want to use the bin loader server, then you'll need to cache that as well. So let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We'll go over to our settings and go to network. Go ahead and disconnect from the internet. This is not required. You can stay connected if you want. I'm just showing it for the video. So we'll go ahead and launch our browser. And as you can see, everything does load up. Now, the 4.4 won't load in, as well as the leaf, lethal won't load it, and none of these here will load in because we didn't do the cache, and I just hit the, uh, the button there. So the only thing we can actually jump into is this. So we'll go ahead and select it, and we'll go into our goal 10 V2.0 B2. Go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few moments here to pop up with a message to insert our USB. Shouldn't take too long. It says 20 to 30 seconds. I've seen sometimes three seconds. There we go. Go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll just wait for the message on supported file system. There we go. Go ahead and hit OK. And jailbreak done. So we can go ahead and remove the USB. And go ahead and hit OK. And Goal 10 2.0 loaded. So we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. You can see that we do have the Goal 10 options here as well. And we do have our debug settings. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. Go ahead and launch our browser again. And we'll go into the payload section. And we'll go ahead and launch one. We'll go with the Orbis' toolbox. I usually have it up whenever I'm playing games. And as you can see, it does take, it says, please wait the 20 to 30 seconds. It loads the jailbreak first and then goes ahead and loads the payload. OK, 
Okay, not enough memory. We'll go ahead and try it again. Sometimes that may happen. Um, but yeah, we'll give it another shot here and it should come right up. Okay, any moment now we should see it. Okay, seems to be taking a little longer than usual. Um, like I said, sometimes it can take three seconds and then sometimes it's the 30 seconds. But as you can see, it does come up. Um, the jailbreak itself is a lot better than 7.55, so waiting 30 seconds isn't going to bother me at all. So let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And as you can see, we do have Orbis's toolbox loaded up. I'm going to our settings. And our Orbis's toolbox menu options are here as well. Uh, we can go in and load, go ahead and check everything that we want. Um, I usually put everything like this. And then I go ahead and save the settings. And that basically just loads it up every time I go ahead and load Orbis's toolbox. As you can see, we can back out here and everything does come up. Now, if I launch the game on the right-hand side, all my stats for my system will come up. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.